Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is pre-order now where I let you know what movies are currently up for pre-order for the month of November. Now I'm only giving you a sampling of what's coming out next month because the month of November is absolutely stacked with brand new releases. So if you are interested in knowing every single brand new release, every Blu-ray, 4K, and Steelbook, just head on over to Blu-ray.com for all of those details. And I also want to mention something really quickly that I forgot to mention in yesterday's video when I was talking about my physical media buying freeze. So I do have three Amazon gift cards that I did receive for my birthday that I will be using to pre-order three items in the month of November. And after I use those gift cards, then I will be officially done. I don't want you guys thinking that I caved in immediately and I just couldn't do it. That is not the case. So I just want to reiterate really quickly. I still do have pre-orders coming in that I'm not canceling. A few of them did show up yesterday that I will be doing a video for. I'm not really sure what time or what day, but I will be doing a movie collection update soon. But these are all pre-orders that I already made. And then I will be using my three Amazon gift cards. And then I am officially done. I don't want you guys thinking I'm a hypocrite, that I caved, that I couldn't do it. I am doing this. I am committing and I am doing this. So now let's get into what's available for pre-order for the month of November. All right, starting off with November 5th, we do have the 4K of Trap. Current pre-order is $26.99. We also have the Wizard of Oz 4K Steelbook set. This is celebrating the 85th anniversary of the movie. Now, this price on Amazon for Wizard of Oz, it's $79.99. Now, that's extremely pricey. However, Groove, G-R-U-V, is giving you an alternative option because the same exact set is going for only $54.99. So if you are interested in Wizard of Oz in this box set, you're a massive Wizard of Oz fan, you love the movie, you collect everything, please pick it up from Groove. That is a much cheaper price point. So obviously I can't pick up Wizard of Oz I don't think I would anyway. I have the regular 4K, so I'm good with that. When it comes to Trap, I am receiving this from Warner Brothers. Now, you guys already know how I feel about the movie. I did a certain video about the film Trap, but you know what? I do like to give movies a second chance. So when Warner Brothers offered it to me, I accepted it. And I will watch it again. Who knows? Maybe my experience will improve. You never know. I will give it a second chance. All right. Two more titles. Same date, November 5th. We have Blink Twice getting a Blu-ray. Pre-order right now is $21.59. We also have the Strange Darling Blu-ray for $29.99. Now, Blink Twice, I believe I will be getting this from Warner Brothers as well, so I am looking forward to that. I did watch it in the theater. I enjoyed the film. Some parts, a little shocking, was, you know, kind of like, whoa. <laughs> I knew something was coming, but it still shocked me anyway. But overall, I enjoyed the movie. I had some, you know, bits and pieces I didn't agree with, you know, creative choices, but overall, I would like to watch the movie again. And then Strange Darling, this movie I'm seriously considering placing my pre-order for using one of those Amazon gift cards because in my opinion, Strange Darling is one of the best horror films of the year. I thought it was so well done, great twist in there, and I just really enjoyed it. $29.99 is a little bit expensive though, just for a regular Blu-ray, so you may want to wait on picking that one up or place your pre-order. And if the price goes down, you know, they'll always make up for that difference. So it all depends if you really love the movie or not. 
And the final two films I chose for November 5th, we have 4K upgrades for Bones and All, which is going for $30.49. And also the 4K of Last Christmas, which apparently does not have a pre-order price right now. I'm not really sure why it doesn't. If I had to guess, it's probably the same price as Bones and All, around $30. So my best advice to you with these random 4K upgrades that have been happening, wait for a sale. Wait on these. Because eventually down the line, they are going to get cheaper in price. I promise you. Because a couple of movies that are the perfect example of this are Ticket to Paradise and also Harriet. These movies were kind of like the first of the random 4K upgrades. It's like out of nowhere, all of a sudden, all these random films just started getting 4K upgrades. And right now, I do believe over on Blu-ray.com, the price for each one of these movies has been knocked down to $10 and $11. So wait it out. Just play the waiting game. Because there's a ton of these movies right now, like Black Mass and Focus and Game Night and Just Mercy. I promise you, all of these films are going to get marked down. And the reason why I'm emphasizing this so much is because of what I'm going through right now and how I'm going to change my ways and everything. And I want you guys to do the same, you know, like I want to help you out. I don't want you guys to think you have to get it right now because you don't. None of these 4Ks, I believe, have slip covers, so you don't have to worry about that situation. So you may as well just wait. Wait it out. Play the waiting game. It pays off. All right, let's move on to the next date of November 12th. We have the Born on the 4th of July 4K upgrade from Shout Factory. The current pre-order for this is $39.99. That is a little bit pricey, so I would definitely wait on that one wait for a future sale because Shout Factory, they have sales going on. So I can guarantee you down the line, it will go down in price. And then also the Sugarland Express 4K. I believe this is Steven Spielberg's first movie. I could be wrong, but I do believe this was his first film or around that. It's very, very early. And the pre-order for this 4K is $23.79. That is reasonable. That is not too bad, but I would still wait on that if I were picking this up for myself, which I am not. This is not going to be one of my chosen pre-orders with a gift card, so I'm choosing to bypass on that one, but not bad. But if you want to wait for a discount, it'll come. It'll come along. All right, next up we have a couple of 4K upgrades from Arrow. We have The Invasion and also Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Now, both of these 4Ks are currently pre-order priced $49.99 a piece. Right now, I can tell you, wait, wait, do not pre-order. I'm mentioning them. I'm sure you're wondering, well, why am I mentioning them if I'm saying to wait? If you are in the financial space where you can pre-order these and you don't mind waiting, possibly, you know, the price point will go down by the time it ships, Fine, more than fine. But the reason why I'm saying to wait is because Arrow always has sales. They have the 50% off sale. You may have to wait a couple of sales. I'm not sure if these new releases would be included in the next Arrow sale. It may be the one after that. But you know what? I'm sure if you're a physical media collector like myself, you have a ton of movies backlogged and you probably won't get to the new releases right away anyway. So you might as well wait it out, wait for that future sale and pick them up, pick both of them up for like $50 combined instead of paying $50 for one. So that's the reason why I'm saying to wait. They're both titles I would like to have. I really would, but I can always wait. I am waiting because I am committing. All right, we are moving on to the next date. And this date is definitely the most crowded, the most like, whoa, what is happening? Tons of physical media landing on November 19th. November 19th, which is also my parents' anniversary, by the way. 
This is a crazy release date. We are getting the Terminator 4K. Pre-order for this right now is $27.19. We are also getting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice 4K for $29.95. Now, I'm very fortunate because I will be getting both of these from Warner Brothers. I am very, very grateful for this. I did not want to miss out on the Terminator. So I am really happy that it will be sent over. So the pre-order prices for these, they're not too bad. You know, they're, they're decent. They're okay. I mean, I can definitely, I would definitely go ahead with that if I was picking these up on my own, but I'm grateful that I do not have to. All right. The next two 4Ks that are coming are North by Northwest 4K, fantastic film from Hitchcock starring my man, Cary Grant. And I will be getting that from Warner Brothers as well for $27.19. There's also Blazing Saddles getting a 4K upgrade for the same price of $27.19. So I'm looking forward to watching North by Northwest again. Like I said, it's one of the best Hitchcock films. It's right up there. I, I would say top three, personally for myself. Psycho, Rear Window, and North by Northwest. When I had my Hitchcock watching month, I just really enjoyed watching all of his movies and I loved North by Northwest. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out again. And then Blazing Saddles, which I will also receive from Warner Brothers. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, Blazing Saddles, I'm looking forward to rewatching because I've only seen the film one time and I didn't really care for it. So I think upon a second watch, maybe that will improve. I am at least hoping. All right. And the final two films that I chose for the 19th, but there's so many, there's so much more. There's so many other choices, including My Little Women. Little Women 1994 is also getting a 4K upgrade. And that is one of the other Amazon gift card choices. If I had to sacrifice Little Women, I think I would die. So I need to use one of my gift cards for that movie. But the final two films that I chose for the 19th to talk about in this video today, we have Speak No Evil. And this might be my other gift card choice, believe it or not, because I really liked Speak No Evil. But I may get this in from, I think it's Universal. I may get this one in. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But Speak No Evil Blu-ray, the current pre-order right now is $30.99. That's a little pricey. For that kind of movie, that's a little pricey. So if you want to place your pre-order and wait for the price point to go down, let Amazon make up the difference. You know how they do that. You know, you can. But that's pricey. I would probably wait for it to go down in price to about $20, $21. Then it's worth it. It's definitely not in the $30 range. That's like a 4K. You know what I'm saying? And then we have the Killer's Game 4K. Pre-order right now. This is just a regular 4K and not a steelbook. $42.99. That is ridiculous. Because we all know how this movie performed at the box office. It didn't. It was an epic failure. Really, really horrible. This is from Lionsgate. And you know I love Lionsgate. I support them and their steelbooks. But, you know, $42. That's a little ridiculous. And that's not even for the steelbook. So I can't co-sign with that one. <laughs> that's a, Lionsgate, that's a little bit ridiculous. So I would not be pre-ordering at that price. I would definitely wait for a sale on that one. But, you know... If you have the financial means, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just looking out for myself and other people that want to improve their financial situations. All right, final week. Final Tuesday is November 26th. We have the 4K upgrade of Hush from Scream Factory. The pre-order for this is $33.80. Not too bad. That's the usual price for Screen Factory 4Ks. And I know a lot of people are very excited about this 4K upgrade because a lot of you, I don't even think this was available on physical. Was it? I don't know. I know it was on streaming and then they took it off streaming. I think it was on Netflix and Netflix removed it and everyone was just like up in arms about it because I don't think there was any other way to watch the movie. And then boom, 
it's getting a 4K from Screen Factory. So that's really awesome. This one may be my final gift card. I'm, I'm seriously considering all my options because this is a very big decision. So that might get the third gift card because I've never seen this movie, but if that many people are so hyped up about it, there's got to be something there. You know what I'm saying? And I've never seen it. So that may get that may get the third gift card. We also have Dragon, the Bruce Lee story 4K. Pre-order is $32.99. This one I probably would not pick up. Nothing against Bruce Lee or anything. I just, I don't know. Just, I, w I don't think I would be interested in this one. So I'd probably leave that one alone. All right, so now we have a couple of 4Ks from Kino Lorber. You know I love my Kino Lorber. We have Bug. Bug with Ashley Judd is getting a 4K. Right now it's $29.71. We also have The Visit getting a 4K upgrade as well for $39.95. That's a little bit pricey, the $39. The $29 uh, is still a little bit expensive, but you know, okay, fine. But you know what I'm going to say. Just wait for the next Kino Lorber sale. Right now, Kino Lorber is having their current sale. It is going on until October 21st. So I can probably guarantee you that three, four months from now, when the next Kino Lorber sale hits, these movies will be available for $17.99. So that's my best advice to you. Just wait it out. Wait for that sale. This is nothing you need to have right away. I know it's nothing I need to have right away. However, I did just pick both of these movies for my review copies from Kino Lorber. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they will come in because they give you the choices. You pick like five or six, but you don't know what's coming. It's kind of like a guessing game. It's a little bit fun. So we'll see. Hopefully I'll get both. So my recommendation is to wait. Wait for the Kino Lorber sale. And finally, the last two items for November 26, I picked the two Criterions. There's a few Criterions, but these Criterions, when they were announced, I know a lot of people were really excited. We have 4K upgrades for both The Shape of Water and Paper Moon. Now, the pre-order prices right now are $34.99 a piece for both of those films. However, Let's remember, in the month of November, it is the Criterion sale, 50% off, and that includes brand new release Criterions. So those Criterions will be half price for a 4K Criterion. You can pick up both of those for about $25 a piece. So again, my suggestion, just to wait. Wait until November 1st, or whenever the sale starts. Whenever the sale starts then place your pre-order because it will be, they'll honor the $25 price as a pre-order once the sale begins. You know what I'm saying? At least I think they will. So that is my best advice. Just wait, wait a couple of weeks to get the $25.99 or whatever it's going to be. So like I said, those are just a few of the selections that are coming out in the month of November. November is absolutely stacked. So I really have to think about where I want to spend those three gift cards. Well, one is Little Women, without a doubt. But you guys already knew that. So thank you so much for watching the video today. Comment down below and let me know what do you plan on pre-ordering. Are you ordering other titles in the month of November? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you next time.